All right, everybody, this is your recording for module 43. Um, today we're learning about the different layers of the Earth, and then you're going to take a virtual journey down to the center of the Earth and complete a 12 point worksheet that goes with it. So pause the video now and do the warm up, which is rock cycle review. Um, remember, our test is coming up at the end of next week, um, the last day before. Um, Think, uh, winter break, so keep reviewing these things. So pause and do this four point warm up. And now you should have already done the warm up. Let's go on to the new information for today. So we're learning about Earth's layers today. Go ahead and make a copy of this note sheet. And when it opens, first things first, move it into your science folder and unit three, we will rock you. So this will be, this is our fourth page of notes um, and it will be our last page of notes. This page of notes is a little bit long. We're, we're doing the first half today. So we're gonna do this chemical and physical layers of the earth. And then next time we're gonna do um, plate tectonics and how the crust moves. So today we're gonna to answer this question, what is inside the earth? So go ahead and fill out your name and period and today's date for me is 12, 8, 20. So um, I included a link to an earthquake map, which is pretty cool. Um, it shows all of the earthquakes in the world that have happened so far today. So these, all these dots are earthquakes that have been felt in the last 24 hours. Well, I say felt, but some of these are too small to be felt. So the smaller the dot, the, the weaker the earthquake was, the larger the dot, the stronger it was. Um, and there's a lot in the past day so this is pretty average it'll look like this pretty much any day that you click on that link you'll also notice that most of these earthquakes are right around these red lines and these red lines mark the edges of tectonic plates so that is what we're getting ready to learn about um, in today's module and in the next one all right the volcano map is not as exciting because um, it just monitors how dangerous volcanoes are and they're not very dangerous usually. So layers of the earth. All right, I'm going to have you guys watch this video. This video explains how planet earth was formed and it helps us understand um, what's inside the earth. Um, so please pause right now and watch this video. All right, so that video talks about how the earth formed from rocks coming together being pulled together by gravity and all of that friction of lots of things slamming into each other created a lot of heat a whole lot of heat Oops, sorry about that so the earth inside of it is extremely hot still even now four billion years later it's still hot it still has not had a chance to cool off the center of the earth is hotter than even the surface of the sun. So um, let's see what else. Oh man, I'm sorry about that. Let's see what else we know about the inside of the earth. This part is not in your notes, just listen. So the earth is a terrestrial planet, which means it's made up of solid substances. Terrestrial means, comes from a word meaning rocks. The inside of the earth is made up of rocks and metal. It's super hot from the friction left over from the earth's formation like the video showed. All right, so the first section of the first page of notes is titled chemical layers. And so the chemical layers, um, we can separate the earth into three distinct layers if we only pay attention to what elements they're made of. So. Um, those three layers starts with the top. The very top layer of the earth is called the crust. So this layer is five to 70 meters thick. It can be five meters, excuse me, not meters, kilometers, much, much larger than meters. Um, but the crust can be five kilometers thick um, at the thinnest 
spots underneath the ocean. So that's called oceanic crust where it's thinner. Um, and of course, ocean sitting on top of it. And then it can be up to 70 kilometers thick um, where the continents are. So the continents are the land and those, those pieces of the crust are thicker than what's underneath the ocean. This layer has a lot of silicon and aluminum, which are very light elements in comparison to the other elements in the Earth. So it's a little bit like when the Earth first formed, this jar has water and oil in it. So when the Earth first formed, all of its um, materials were mixed up because that's just how it formed. It was a big old mess. And after millions of years, um, those different materials separated out based on which ones were more dense and less dense. So the less dense materials like silicon and aluminum floated up to the top. And then we have the medium layer, which is called the mantle. And this, this layer is very thick. It's 3000 kilometers thick and it has lots of silicon and also magnesium and iron, which are um, heavier materials than aluminum. And the third layer um, based on chemicals is called the core. This is the biggest layer. It's 3,500 kilometers thick. And it's also made of heavy metals, specifically nickel and iron metal. So the main takeaway is that lighter elements are at the surface and heavier elements are towards the center, the core. Now, we can also describe Earth's layers based on their physical properties or how they move, also known as mechanical layers. So this gets a little bit confusing because the, the compositional, the chemical layers and the physical or mechanical layers, they don't line up perfectly. So um, refer to this diagram as we go. So instead of the crust, for the physical layers, we have the lithosphere. So lithos means rock and it's rigid. So rigid means something that would, that if you try and bend it, it'll break, it'll snap. So that's like hard, solid rock. So if you can see over here on the diagram, the lithosphere contains the crust and also the top part of the mantle here. So it's a little thicker than the crust. So that is hard, rigid rock. Underneath the lithosphere, we have the asthenosphere. So this is the weakest layer of the mantle. So this is the most of the top of the mantle. And this is a, a substance that we call soft plastic. So it's not, it's not actually made of plastic. This is just sort of an in-between state of matter. So this, this is technically solid, but it's still bendable and it can still flow just very slowly. Um, think about how some, some solid materials are bendable. So like um, Play-Doh is a bendable, moldable, solid material. That's kind of what this, this layer of the earth is like. Then the rest of the mantle, um, we refer to it as the mesosphere. So that's the, the bottom two thirds of the mantle. And this, this layer is not quite rigid. It still moves, but it's a lot harder to move than the asthenosphere. So we call it stiff plastic. So the fourth layer down is the outer core. So it's the outer, about the outer two thirds of the core. And remember, it's made of metals, iron and nickel. And this layer is so hot that it's actually liquid metal. So this is iron and nickel in its liquid form, super hot, thousands of degrees. Now the inner core, the very center of the earth, it's still made of metal, it's still very hot but it's actually solid. So since it's still made of iron and nickel and it's still thousands of degrees, even hotter than the outer core, why is it solid? Shouldn't it be liquid? Well, the answer is because there is so much pressure pushing down on it from the other layers of the earth that it's actually squeezed tightly together and pressed solid. So all of the pressure from the other layers of the earth above it um, 
keep it in its solid form, even though it's super hot. All right, so we're gonna save plate tectonics for next class. So don't, don't go ahead and um, skip ahead and do it. You'll get too far ahead, but at this point, click next. And you're gonna do an activity called Journey to the Center. So you're gonna click on this link and this is a virtual journey if we drill a hole to the center of the earth so this side shows through solid rock this side shows diving through the ocean and we pass different markers that show us where things might be as we go down to the center so um this quiz here's a warning if you rush through it you're going to get a low score and you're gonna to have to try it again. So take your time through it. And the other hint is that they go in order, okay? So each of these questions works its way down to the, to the very bottom of this journey. So first question is, how many meters down are the deepest animal burrows? Okay, so we'll do this one together. So this is rabbits. This is how deep pigs can smell um graves this says deep burrowing earthworms but we're looking for deepest burrowing animals so not that one got a tomb an olympic diving pool uh, metal detectors plant roots mole man it's a weird one um seven pagodas in india i'm not sure what that is um, and deepest animal burrows, check it out. All right, so that's what I'm looking for. So it's 12 meters down. Now don't put the M because the M is already there. Only put the number. If you put the M, it's gonna count you wrong. Um, so now you're gonna keep going. Next one you're looking for is European spider crab. This one is gonna come before whale sharks. So if you find whale sharks, you've gone too far, okay? So take your time. Scroll and read everything or it's going to take you a long time. Um, and hopefully you get at least 10 out of 12 points. So that's it for today. Um, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.